Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer. Our early warning weather alert continues, and we've been giving you the early warning on this Arctic cold since Friday of last week. And here it is. It has arrived. Last night at 11, Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon was tracking the uh, Arctic front as it dropped through. And this morning, Scott Haney was watching the temperatures drop back in real time. Feels like temperatures across the state in the single digits or below zero. Now, on days like today, it's a great idea to have the WFSB weather weather app handy. Uh, good idea to download that while uh, we are, of course, dealing with this bitter cold. Wind gusts have been elevated to 45 mile an hour gust in Willimantic, 46 mile an hour gust in New Haven. And we expect gusts to be in this 35 to 45 mile an hour range for the remainder of the day. That means that as the day progresses and we pull in more Arctic air, we will start to see uh, temperatures not only continue to fall, but wind chills will drop too. Over the next several hours, temperatures themselves uh, the upper numbers here dropping into the single digits with wind chills ending up around 20 below zero, if not lower, later on this evening. Very similar at the shoreline, too. Temperatures approaching zero uh, shortly after midnight tonight with wind chills likely below zero by the evening commute at the shore. So it's this combination of Arctic air and strong wind gusts. Look at this, 20 below in North Bay right now, 22 below in Timmins, 18 below in Quebec. And these are the, this is the air rather, that is pouring into Connecticut on that northwest wind. So as this Arctic air continues to build in our alert will continue not only through today but into tomorrow too. Again, wind gusts likely to remain on the stronger side and the worst of it will be tonight into tomorrow morning with wind chills 20 to 30 below. Actual air temperatures also dropping back too. The low temperature for tomorrow morning in Hartford is in the Hartford area rather is uh, eight below. This is measured at Bradley could be safe going to be very close in Bridgeport. The record low is five set in 1996. Seems likely that we will at least get close to this, if not break this record. The coldest high temperature records, though, are actually probably safe as temperatures rise through the day tomorrow and we shift our wind to be out of the southwest. More on that coming in just a second. Futurecast shows temperatures themselves ending up below zero almost statewide by the time we start the day off tomorrow and then they rebound into the afternoon, approaching 20 degrees by six o'clock by 6 a.m. Sunday morning. We're close to 30 degrees, and by Sunday afternoon, back into the 40s, a significant change on the way. Wind gusts again strong right now and will remain strong later this afternoon. Tonight, we expect the gusts to stay strong too, but they start to relax throughout the day tomorrow. So, wind chill will be less of a conversation uh, by tomorrow evening. Not much in the way of showers. Futurecast here showing you tomorrow's weather today. Not really much to chat about, just expecting a lot of sunshine during the day on Saturday, and that will be the case for us today too. Some clouds certainly mixing in. And a live look on our eye cam right now in Torrington, shaking just a little bit in the wind, showing mostly blue skies with some high clouds. Very similar here on our eye cam in Rocky Hill, uh, shaking quite a bit in the wind, though, and a live look on our eye cam in New London. 24 degrees, old glory whipping in the wind. Early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning, just nothing to show. And once we get past this Arctic front, we rapidly shift our wind on Saturday to pull in milder air, starting a warming trend through next week. The early warning seven day highlighting our alert uh, for today into tonight. Negative three is what we're forecasting for a low right now. Some towns likely below that. But look at that, back into the mid-40s Sunday and Monday. By Tuesday, we're talking mid to upper 40s. And Kara, there's some uncertainty on just how warm we get at the end of next week. But there's a chance that we could be talking about temps back in the 50s.